seven of them, mm -hmm. and there are only three still alive. Mm -hmm. Two of them d died from drug-related illnesses. Mm -hmm. One of them, Christine Ferkus, I have a whole chapter on her. She was a very, very sweet girl, and she died tragically when she was 21 or 22. Um, the others um, all drove me ragged. I mean, I really had no idea what I was doing, what I had in my hand, because they were, half of them were drug addicts, and, and when one of them told me she was sniffing smelling sorts, I believed her. <laughs> um, I, and, uh, I, I got into trouble, Frank was furious with me, because I told her to sniff her smelling sorts in the <laughs> t TV studio. <laughs> Um, and he found out about it and thought I was being wry and I was deliberately telling her to take cocaine. Yeah. So um, I got into trouble with them. I mean, they, they were a, a bundle of incredible energy and they, had, they couldn't sing. They couldn't sing and I had to help them rehearse every day. I was responsible to get them to rehearsal. Rehearse, I used to duck with my pencil. And, uh, they, they literally uh, were fun to be with. I came to like them really much. I'm still in touch with the three that are alive. But in the beginning, I, I really thought they were the dregs of society. I didn't have any time for them at all. But I came to see and I realized that Frank was right and I was wrong and that he had every right to take uh, interest in these girls and they had real humanity and they were really interesting and sweet and charming, and once you got past that bizarre look. Yeah, so yeah. So that's what I learned, one of the things I learned. And I, I love working with them, it's great.